I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 8th of October, getting set to sail into a uh, October weekend. Temperatures above normal. Rain? Eh, forget about it. Let's take a look at some of the sky cam shots on this Friday afternoon. First off, this was this morning, about 7 o'clock as the sun was coming up over Tuscaloosa. That's gorgeous here. It's coming from the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. You can see Bryant Denny Stadium off in the distance. Steeple of First Baptist Church down below. An equally nice shot from Decatur up in the Great Tennessee Valley as the sun was coming up right over the Tennessee River about 7 o'clock this morning. A cloudless sky. And this afternoon from Birmingham. That's looking north from the top of the Daniel Building. Well, you can see we've got uh, the westerlies now way north of us. And that means that the weather should be warmer. And by golly, the weather is warmer. Readings range from 82 at Gadsden to 89 in Montgomery. Tuscaloosa and Alexander City at 88. Birmingham, 87. By golly, we'll just roll with those upper 80s over the weekend. But the humidity is low. It's not like the 80s we see in June or May. And around the nation, the hottest weather out there right over the nation's heartland. Parts of Nebraska and Kansas getting uh, readings around 90 this afternoon. And, of course, the uh, colder pocket is over the northern Rockies, back with that big upper low that's finally lifting out of the southwest. That's the one that brought the uh, severe weather to Arizona a couple of days ago. We need rain. We're not going to get rain. That's it for the next five days, about through Wednesday morning at 7 o'clock. And this is suggesting absolutely nothing, not a drop. And we might see a few widely scattered showers by the middle of next week. But as we've talked about for days, prospects of a good beneficial rain are not that good. Uh, some rain is likely west of here over Texas. Tropical weather, by golly, we've got a hurricane out there. Hurricane Otto in the Atlantic, uh, well to the east of the Bermudas, southeast of, uh, or well to the east of the Bahamas and southeast of Bermuda. And again, a uh, wave over the western Caribbean that's just kind of sitting there and not doing very much. You know, Otto just a few days ago looked awfully ill. It was a broad low, uh, but to the Hurricane Center's credit, that uh, naming the system was a good thing. It is now a full-blown hurricane. And again, you can see that thing out there around, uh, uh, looks like 63 west and 27 north. And it is on the way out, headed for the Azores early next week. No threat to any landmass. We'll check the uh, GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Very, very light westerly flow aloft. And down below that, no change. Sunny with uh, temperatures well up in the 80s. Uh, peeking at guidance, uh, the, the GFS is actually printing 90 tomorrow, the NAM at 87. Same thing on Sunday, very warm, upper 80s, bright sunshine. Monday of next week, no real change. Still be well up in the 80s. The uh, latest GFS showing 89 on Monday. And Tuesday, we got this upper low developing off to the west. The winds aloft a little stronger here, but again, no moisture. So it looks like we'll just kind of take out that slight chance of a shower. And then Wednesday, as the upper trough comes through, it might squeeze out a few isolated showers, but not what we need. Prospects of a big rain look awfully small. Thursday of next week, we're dry. Maybe a little cooler, but uh, highs go back in the 70s. And then Friday, really, the, the core of that trough passes north of us. And again, we have a light flow aloft and down below that. Looks pretty dry, highs maybe low 80s, something like that. So again, a very benign pattern continues. If you're looking for some excitement, how about this? October 22nd, deep upper low over Little Rock. And if that's right, the weather would be wet, stormy. Underneath that cold core, could there be a few snowflakes over Oklahoma and western Arkansas? And then a couple of days later, the big system lifts out and we're noticeably cooler. So, again, the next hope for a big rain continues to show up in about two weeks. So it's going to be a while before it gets there. And as we all know, that's out there in voodoo country, and that could change. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. My next video will be here by Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters will have the updates tomorrow and Sunday. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.